Hello everybody, welcome back to another 3 Minutes at 3. Today we're going to talk about save yourself money with receipts. So it's tax season. It's something we've just recently mm -hmm. gone through. Uh, this mm -hmm. time of year it takes several weeks in preparation for let, us. Let me clarify. She just went through. <laughs> yeah. I was, yeah, she went through. <laughs> you, 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 you provided the emotional support. There we go. Yeah, that's what it was. Emotional support. <laughs> yes. Um, so yes, I want to touch on uh, receipts. And what I did when I very first got started in this, before we had a business account and before we paid things on w using a card, which right now is uh, actually a very easy way for us to keep track of our records. But even before that, when we paid everything with cash, if you keep all of your receipts in a pile or a shoebox or whatever, um, when it comes to time for you to do your taxes, you can go through and sort those and um, and basically you get to use them as tax deductions. Now, even if you are not uh, a full-time blacksmith or you mm -hmm. don't have your own business uh, formally, you are still technically considered, considered a sole proprietorship if you are selling products of some sort. And so mm -hmm. therefore, when you, so you have to, you do have to report your income. I believe it's if you, you make over $600 in a year, um, so you have mm -hmm. to do that. But again, if you are reporting an income on the other side, you can report your deductions as well, which is mm -hmm. anytime you buy supplies. Um, let's see, what else is there? Uh, Drive somewhere for gasoline or mileage. Uh, yeah. We'll cover that in another video. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, uh, if you went fuels. on a fuels, if you mm -hmm. went somewhere that was specifically for the business type thing, there's a certain amount that you can cover. Of course, your tax laws, you'll have to check those out mm -hmm. in your own state and uh, you know things like that. And of course, if you're across the pond somewhere else in the world, this probably doesn't apply to you whatsoever. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, this is how we do it here in America anyhow. Um, mm -hmm. So you know, it, real quick, we are not tax professionals yes, at all. Not. Please seek your own personal tax professionals. Mm -hmm. These are just uh, kind of just quick little things to think about maybe that you haven't thought about before where you could save a little extra change. So yeah, yeah. Um, some of the things too, like travel. So if you're in blacksmithing, uh, you go to blacksmith conferences, uh, there's certain parts of that that you can deduct. Mm -hmm. Now the IRS does have a full publication on uh, travel and they have full publications on other parts of business expenses you can deduct. Yeah. Just go look them up. Yeah. I mean, they read have, it and they read it well. Familiarize you. yourself really well. Mm -hmm. um, and if you need help, you know, definitely get a tax professional. Mm -hmm. um, but some of this stuff can even help with a tax professional that you're already prepared before you get there. Mm -hmm. And uh, then, you know, they can definitely help you out further. Yes. Yep. So that's going to be it for this three minutes at three. We hope you all enjoyed it. Thank you for joining us. And like we always say, God bless you. And we'll catch you on the next one.